Hello everyone, I am Pavani, working as assistant professor in CSC AML department, MLR Institute of Technology. Today, I would like to give a session on uh, uh, language modeling. Uh, coming to language modeling, uh, the overview of the language modeling, introduction to language modeling, various grammar based language model and statistical language model, come to the various grammar based model. There are five types, generative grammar, hierarchical grammar, government and binding grammar, next third one, fourth one, uh, lexical functional grammar, lexical functional grammar, next opinion grammar based, opinion grammar based model. Come to the first of all, what is language modeling? A language model in NLP is a probabilistic model that determines the probability of a given sequence of words occurring in a sentence based on the previous words. So, what is a language model? A language model is a probabilistic static model that determines the probability of a given sequence of words occurring in a sentence based on the previous word. It helps to predict which word is more likely to appear next in a sentence that means pre frequency of the word there are two approaches for language modeling first one various grammar based model what is the meaning of various grammar based model there are different types of various grammar mo based models are there so what is the purpose of grammar based model it uses the predefined rules and structure of the grammar it defines the predefined rules and structure of the grammar first take the example she is reading a book. It is a cut sentence. That means it follows some rules and structure of the grammar. Take uh, another example. Reading. Reading she is book here. It is not a correct sentence. It is incorrect sentence. What is the correct sentence? She is reading a book. It is incorrect sentence. Reading she is book is an incorrect sentence. It, is, it means it does not follow the rules. That means it does not follow the structure of the grammar. Second one, statistical language model. It uses the probabilities derived from the last data sets to predict the next word. That means it defines the frequency of the previous word. Frequency of the previous word. Take example. Here the sentence is the phrase I am going to. This is the phrase. What is the phrase I am going to? The model automatically predicts the words like school, market, work based on the previous UCS frequency. This is the example for the statistical language model. That means it defines the probabilities based on the previous words. So, first of all, various grammar based model. Grammar based model use rules to generate and understand sentences in a language. These rules help to computers figure out if a sentence is grammatically correct and how words related to each other. Already we discussed it, right? Example, she is reading a book. There are various grammar based models are proposed. Generative grammars, hierarchical grammar, government and binding grammar, lexical function grammar, opinion gram. Opinion grammar based model. Come to the first one hierarchical, sorry, generative grammar. It is a theory of a grammar that holds that human language is shaped by a set of basic principles. That means it follows the some human language rules. What is the example? The cat chased the mouse. Here the cat is a subject. Here the cat is a subject. That means the rule defines that the cat is a subject. And comes before the verb. Here the verb is changed. Take another example. The boy kicked the ball. This is the phrase. The boy kicked the ball sentence. Here rules defines that the boy, the boy is the subject. And kick is the verb. Come before the the boy come before the verb. This is a some basic example of generative grammar. Next one. 
हाइरारिकल ग्रामर चॉम्सकी दट मीन चॉम्सकी ऑथर कैटेगराइज ग्रामर इन टू हाइरारिकल स्ट्रक्चर बेस्ड ऑन द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी दट मीन टाइप जीरो टाइप वन टाइप टू टाइप थ्री दिस इज द हाइरारिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द ग्रामर टाइप जीरो इज अ मोस्ट पावरफुल एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स दट मीन इट इज अनिस्ट्रिक्ट ग्रामर इन इज ग्रामर दर इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन टाइप वन context sensitive grammar rules depending on the surrounding context in this the rules are depending on the surrounding of the uh, words type 2 context free grammar most commonly used in nlp in nlp we are using context free grammar for to phrase the sentences means to follow some rule in respect of the context type free grammar it is regular grammar that means a star b regular expressions these are all comes under regular grammar simplify the grammar using such in is patterns strings strings means it means divide the patterns into strings these are the some hierarchical grammar next one government and binding this is a important one government and binding theory what the government and binding and theory explains it explains how different parts of a sentence are related at various levels it focus on the structure and movement of the words in the sentence it only focus on the structure and movement of the words in the sentence so uh, we already discussed right in previous videos transformational grammar transformational grammar in this transformational grammar in this we have two levels surface level that means surface structure deep structure in this government binding renamed the surface structure and deep structure to d level and s level d level means basic sentence meaning that means stru surface structure level means how sentence is presented this is the two levels d level s level in this government binding these two levels based on the d level s level they identify two more levels of representation called phonetic and logical form phonetic phonetic form and logical form here d level means basic sentence meaning basic sentence meaning basic sentence meaning s level means how the sentence is presented sentence is presented phonetic means sound sound next logical form means meaning derived from the sentence structure meaning derived from sentence structure this is the some hierarchical representation of the government and binding theory in two levels d level and s level deep structure level surface uh, deep uh, deep level and sur surface level take the example mukesh was killed Take the example. Mukesh was killed. Mukesh was killed. Take the example. Mukesh was killed. In transformation grammar, sentence, noun phrase, auxiliary, and verb phrase. Here, noun phrase is Mukesh, and auxiliary was, verb is killed. This is the basic. structure of the structure in transformational grammar sentence noun phrase auxiliary verb phrase next coming to the in government binding theory the s level and d level we draw s level sentence noun phrase verb phrase inflection inflection noun phrase in here mukesh inflection means past verb verb phrase here verb is b verb phrase noun here verb is killed noun phrase is some e here e means empty empty here e means empty empty means we can add some uh, any other meaning of the But the uh, third sentence, killed Mukesh. Past killed Mukesh. This is empty. 
we represent in empty e here we are using b next this is a sentence level next b level sentence non phrase inflection here infl is inflection verb phrase e inflection past verb verb phrase here verb phrase verb phrase here verb is some kill non phrase okay this is the deep deep level means deep structure of the government and binding theory this is a basic example of the government and binding theory presentation in s level and d level deep structure level sentence uh, structure surface structure level next components of government binding theory there are components of government binding theory uh, the first one is mu alpha it means mu means mu anything from anywhere example most travelers visit two countries that means two countries are visited by the mu tra most travelers that means we can uh, easily flexible to move sentences from one one place to another place that means one one phrase to another another phrase that means projection next one projection principle sentence structures must follow rules defined by the word from lexicon that means verb here verb need some specific objects this is the projection principle next x bar theory x bar theory is a the components of government and binding theory x bar theory simplifies phrase structures example simplifies the that means uh, the x bar theory simplifies the sentences into some phrases here example what is the here the delicious food is the noun phrase eat quickly is the verb phrase next next one theta theory assigns roles to the words that means in theta theory it assigns some roles to the words here what is example here like the example is mukesh eat an apple here mukesh is the agent here mukesh is the agent apple is a team in theta theory we are assigning the that means we are assigning the roles to the words apple is a team this is a example of the theta theory next binding theory defines no, it defines the relationship between the pronoun and noun that means it relationship between noun and pronoun here example mukesh knows himself here mukesh knows himself is a correct sentence vice versa mukesh knows him that means ambiguous someone or that means someone someone else this is a some ambiguity in the sentences this is a binding theory the relationship between the noun and pronoun next empty category already discussed right e empty category empty invisible place holders created when words move at means words are moving one place to another place this is created some invisible place holders it is called as a e that means empty example what did mukesh eat that means what here what is the what is the some uh, some gap that means invisible we, we can't find it what what uh, did mukesh eat this is a tracing please a term trace next sub categorization and c command government and women these are the some term, terminology in uh, government and binding sub categorization filters to control which words can flow a specific word example the verb eat requires a known object eat food compulsory the verb need the verb eat requires a known object that is eat food but sleep does not sleep does not require the word uh, an object c command defines the scope of the word it means within the sentence it defines the scope of the word what is the scope of the, the particular word it defines c commands government a word controls enter within a specific bind boundaries the uh, the word controls within the specific boundaries it will tells about the government movement move alpha here already discussed right? move move 
move alpha what it is move anything anywhere that means we can represent in the form of move alpha we can move words from move anything to anywhere and this is representing double h movement another is another movement is double h movement this is double h where every is move follows what did mukesh sheet mukesh inflection eat what this is the some movement example bonding and bonding theory and control theory let like explain explains the bonding what uh, the bonding theory explains bonding theory explains long distance movement of elements in a sentence long distance movement of elements in a sentence in english when it complement clause it, uh, here what is the meaning of clause a clause that completes the meaning of sentence what is the meaning of clause a clause that completes the meaning of a sentence in english when a complement clause undergoes movement it follows some specific constraints the movement is bonded noun phrase sentence these are all uh, comes under bonding nodes what move alpha will move from one place to another place it means cannot cross more than one bonding node at a time the move alpha can move one to another word but can't cross more than one bonding node at a time the control theory deals with the how subjects are interpreted when they are not explicitly mentioned next in involves syntaxes and semantics pragmatics to determine the meaning this is a ambiguity based semantics pragmatics to determine the meaning of the particular sentence empty category pro pro defines the different differently based context that means it provides provides the differently based context it acts like a anaphor what is the meaning of anaphor another element in the sentence when it is in subject of a complement clause with verbs like decide and try okay uh, it behaves like pronoun with other verbs it behaves like pronoun with other verbs this is a overall discussion about binding theory and hierarchical grammar generative grammar this is summary Here, here in this uh, video, we discuss about reduction to language modeling. Uh, there are two types in language modeling: various grammar mo based model and statistical language based model. Next, in this uh, various grammar based model, there are five: generative grammar, hierarchical grammar, government and binding. Next video, we will discuss lex lexical function grammar and penin grammar based model. Thank you.